This sci-fi thriller has the weirdest alternate world transitions you have ever seen. A couple are lying in bed one night when their dog barks. The wife offers to go feed it, but meets the food bowl still full. As she walks back, a masked intruder covers her mouth and soon shoots her dead using a pillow as a silencer. The intruder then removes the mask to reveal an exact duplicate of the wife. She dumps the real body in the car trunk after wearing her clothes and heads upstairs to join her husband in bed. Devon and Noel are software engineers and they give a presentation on their new app that allows people to trade parking spaces. Unfortunately, they don't get enough time to develop it. It turns out that the company has someone who can do it faster and they find out that Seth had poached the gig behind their backs. Noel is so angry, but Devon manages to cool him down. Josh and Lena are playing around with their drawings when Devon and Noel arrive looking downtrodden. After the bad news, they all head to the bar where Carmen works to take shots and bitterly complain. Lena manages to convince everyone into drinking their heads off, and soon enough, gather and watch Josh hit on a girl. After he almost gets beat up by her boyfriend, they all walk home together. Noel tries to encourage them to try something, but Devin announces to the group that he's taking another job. It gets awkward, and he heads to the laundry room to get some thinking rhyme. The rest of the crew follow him there, and Noel gets angry enough to burst a hole in the wall. While everyone's calming down, Lena discovers that the wall is fake, and gets Josh to come take a look. Soon enough, they tear down the wall and take the staircase behind it to an abandoned room. They find a load of weird stuff, but a group of pictures stand out. They gather around and notice that the same lady is in all of them. They conclude that she must be a twin. Noel goes off on his own and discovers a looking glass that shows every room in the house. While he's showing it to Lena, Josh discovers a passageway to the back of their house embedded inside a closet. Devin takes a look and the closet door almost falls on him. In an attempt to dodge it, his hand gets stuck inside a mysterious mirror. They gather around as Lena puts her hand in next, and then Noel tries it too. After a couple of beers, Devin tries taking a video of the other side, and all it shows is the same room that they're in, but without them in it. Josh then gathers some courage and enters the mirror. On the other side, everything looks the same. He follows the closet and comes out the back until he sees exact duplicates of his friends having a barbecue. He takes a video of them before returning to his world. He describes what he saw when he returns and claims to have spent 15 minutes. Devin counters this, claiming he was away for only 5 seconds. They test run it again and conclude that a minute in this world equals 3 hours in the alternate universe. They decide to move the mirror downstairs, but any time they straighten it, it becomes a real mirror, but when they tilt it, it becomes a portal again. Josh tries entering again, and this time, Noel follows him through. It's weird when they both don't find each other on the other side. They return and try holding hands as they go through, and they go through together, and return together, this time. After getting their facts straight, the crew decides to use the alternate world as a workspace to create their Meter Maid app before Seth does. They go weeks in the alternate world, but mere days in this one, living off of beer and pizza. The next day, they present Meter Maid to their boss, secure the gig, and ensure to stop by at Seth's house to rub it in. Afterwards, they go for a drink, and Carmen is curious to know how they pulled it off. They later return home to test Josh's lotto number theory. It turns out to be different from the numbers in the alternate world, but this gives Noel an idea. He and Lena team up while Devin goes in with Josh, all in an attempt to learn the difference between worlds. They don't find anything substantial, so they steal Noel's doubles wallet and treat themselves to a meal. From then on, they accumulate debt after debt on different duplicates to get themselves various exotic things. Devin joins Lena outside one evening as she reads through Marissa Whitaker's diary, the same woman who used to live in their house. She discovered that people who had died in her universe could be alive in another one, so she looked for her husband in the same vein. Devin isn't a fan of Marissa and wonders what Noel and Josh are up to. In an alternate world, the two dum-dums dress like characters from The Godfather and Josh actually blows up a million dollars like he always wanted to. Josh then pulls out a gun and fires it at a glass window. Excited, Noel wants to give it a try too. As Josh is searching for a target for him, he notices a Frankenstein movie with Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone. 
This is the biggest anomaly he's ever seen, so he takes the idea back to his friends. They conclude that they have to focus on industries with the highest creatives, and when they return to an alternate world, they find that Mona Lisa's hair is short in it. Devin gets into a fight with Nolan, goes off to Google his father while he had committed suicide to avoid arrest. Meanwhile, Lena has the idea to pass off a popular artist's work as hers, and it works. She returns to touch up the art and Noel visits a renowned scientist to mooch off his revolutionary ideas. Josh tries to introduce Jenny to a pissed off Devin but gets shown Noel on TV doing interviews. On the other hand, Lena's paintings start showing in every gallery. They're all at a black tie event one time and Seth crashes it, announcing how suspicious their rise to fame seems. He mentions something about the Orion Sky Fund and throws a comment about corruption running in Devin's family. Josh almost beats him up, but Noel manages to stop him in time. Later on, Devin approaches Noel about the Orion Sky Fund, and he brushes it under the rug. He then drags him along as they visit Seth in an alternate world. There, Josh thrashes his house and tries to get Devin to beat Seth up. He doesn't comply, so they just head back. Josh meets Devin going through Marissa's diary and gets told about how she lost her mind because of the mirror. Devin says he's worried that Noel might be the same, but Josh convinces him to join him on a visit to Carmen in her alternate world. As they have fun upstairs, Devin heads down to research his father some more. He has on headsets, so he has no idea when Carmen's boyfriend heads up the stairs and shoots Josh in the leg. He brings him back to their world with a busted leg and gets the rest of the gang to help. They panic as Josh bleeds out, and despite Devin's yelling, Noel doesn't call the police. Josh ends up dying, and Noel suggests that they kidnap an alternate Josh and replace him with theirs to cover their tracks. Devin disagrees, so they put it to a vote, which Noel wins. They say a few words in his memory and proceed to abduct the alternate Josh. He wakes up confused the next morning, and all three of them lie to him that they sold their company. Devin is hesitant, but he eventually plays along. They get new Josh to believe they're packing up and that he got a job at Stanley Tech due to his hard work. It works as planned, and Noel sees Josh off to the car. Devin is devastated and gets visited by Lena. He lashes out about how she watched Josh die, but she just slams the door in his face. He then searches different worlds, trying to find the one where his father is alive. Noel, on the other hand, convinces Lena to go after her father's business because he never supported her as a child. Josh feels out of place at Stanley Tech, and an assistant encourages him. Noel gets shocked when he sees Josh still alive in an alternate universe and in theirs. Lena and Devin talk on the front porch. He admits that he and his father got into a big fight and mere minutes after it he found his body. That's why he's searching for him. Lena then asks what he plans to say if he finds him, but Devin has no idea. New Josh works late that night and scrolls through his Facebook page with no recollection of all the pictures on it. Back home, Noel spies on Devin with the looking glass and complains about him sleeping all day. He then tells Lena that all he does is run. From nowhere, he pulls out a device that can expand matter and reveals that he has a storage unit full of otherworldly revolutionary stuff. Devin finally finds a world where his dad didn't kill himself and visits him in prison. They talk things out and Devin has an emotional breakthrough. He returns to his world feeling better and even goes for a drink with Noel. They share some laughs and Noel reveals that the Orion Sky Fund will send Josh's mom five grand every month and when she passes, the money will keep coming to Josh. This eases Devin's mind and they clink their cups in camaraderie. Lena has an art show, but only her appropriated pieces get attention. She begins to drink and by the time Devin arrives, she's stupid drunk. She yells so loudly that she draws the attention of everyone in the gallery. Devin gets her to calm down and she admits to being a fraud. He then gets her home and encourages her about failure being crucial. He confesses that he went to her first show and then admits his feelings for her. They kiss and a kiss becomes more. After they're done, Devin brings up Noel going non-stop and gets Lena to promise to talk to him. What they don't know is that Noel sees them kissing through the looking glass. Lena wakes up the next morning and Devin is gone. He leaves a note saying he needs time to think. She's worried, but all her calls go straight to voicemail. Meanwhile, Noel seems just fine. He tells her that it's not new for Devin to disappear and then mentions buying back the block to protect the valuable technology he got. He suggests that he and Lena get back together, but she simply laughs it off and leaves to meet up with Josh. 
All he can do is complain about the differences between what he remembers and what is. He's on edge and helpless throughout the conversation and nothing Lena says helps. She returns to drill Noel about it, but he brushes it off so she searches through the trash till she finds a phone, copies it, and accesses the recent locations. She follows the trail to Lake Taps where she finds Devin and yells his head off for abandoning her. She sees his bags all packed and asks why he's leaving. Devin thinks Seth is suing them and doesn't even remember sleeping with Lena. This tips her off that he's not the Devin from their world and she tries telling him the truth, but gives up because he doesn't understand it. Meanwhile, new Josh finds out that Noel has been filing for patents and finds the attic when he checks out the house. Noel comes through the mirror before his eyes and an angry Josh pulls a gun on him. He uses it to make Noel move the mirror, but Noel says he can't do it without a wrench. Josh gets him one, but while he's distracted by the mirror, Noel hits him with it. They struggle until Josh shoots Noel by mistake. He's still panicking when another Noel comes through the mirror and kills them both. Lena meets the remnants of the crime scene. He shows her his anti-gravity technology and his plan for them to conquer the world, but Lena can't stop crying. After seeing pictures of him with 10 different versions of herself, she tries to play along by kissing him. She's literally saved by the bell, and Noel goes downstairs to see Carmen at the door. Upstairs, Lena grabs the antimatter device and tries to stab Noel with it when he comes back. He blocks it, and in the course of their struggle, she only gets his leg. Noel has Lena at gunpoint, and she asks to be killed just like Devin, but that's not what Noel wants. She manages to switch positions, but soon discovers that the gun uses fingerprint recognition. She runs for her life, but Noel grabs her before she can go through the mirror. While he's suffocating her, new Devin comes through with a gun of his own. Noel tries to deceive him, but gets shot immediately, and he lets go of Lena. He then goes through the mirror, but Lena straightens it, catching Noel halfway through his return. Half of him falls to the ground with its guts spilling out, and Lena cleans everything up. Devin had left a message for himself, and after watching it, Lena concludes that the mirror must be destroyed. She picks up an axe and shatters it to pieces. She and Devin then pack up their things and donate all the technology anonymously. On their journey, they stop by a small supermarket so Lena can use the bathroom. Unfortunately, she gets swapped out by a Lena from an alternate world. The duplicate then returns to the car to join Devin, and they drive into the sunset. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed the content. Like and share in the comments any movies you would like us to recap.